Hi everybody, I'm Mike Fucci, the Independent Diner, and welcome to another edition of the Independent Diner Cooking Show. So, here we are in my kitchen, and tonight we're going to make wonderful chicken breasts. They're going to go with a Red Bliss mashed potato with garlic. Delicious, and also a white wine pear sauce. Unbelievably special. I hope that you're going to enjoy this. I'm going to be showing you how to make this stuff very easily. Tonight we've got halved pears, pear juice, one lemon, pancetta, which I'll explain in a minute, and some sugar. Now, the pear juice, for one, is fresh. I extracted it from a juicer. You don't have to do that. You can get it out of a can, so don't worry about it. It usually takes to get this much about 20 pears. So you can imagine the work I've done today. Now, the pears, I've halved up maybe five of them, but we're not going to use all of them. They're just there for decoration, okay? The pancetta, which is like Italian bacon. It's delicious. It's really fatty, but so good. It's just like eating regular bacon, but it's Italian bacon, you know? Hey, forget it, you know? All right, so let's get started. I've got the pans all warmed up. We're gonna put the chicken on in just a second. Before we do that, we've gotta actually put the salt and the pepper. Remember, I always tell you, salt and pepper, everything. Everything, everything, everything gets seasoned. Let's go back to the pan. We'll throw some oil in there. Let that get hot. Well, you can see the oil is already going, which means I get a very hot pan, which is good. Let's throw this skin side down, and you can hear the sizzle. That's awesome. I like that. Discard the dirty plate, as always. Now, while that's cooking, we're going to start with the pancetta. We want to render this down. We really want to make this nice and crispy because when it goes inside the pear sauce and the wine, we don't want it to lose its texture. Nice and crunchy, okay? So let's get that rolling right now too. We'll go right to the rear pan here. Throw it in nice and hot. Remember, that pan has to be scorching hot. You can't have it any other way. That there. Now, <laughs> now my cameraman Joe has this thing he loves to watch me roll out a lemon. So I'm just gonna do it for him right now. So roll out the lemon always because you're gonna release all the juices on the inside. You know, you really need to get them out there and it'll help loosen up the seeds too, which is really cool. That way you can just strain it with your hand. Give that lemon a slice and I'm gonna throw it right back in here. That's prep for later, okay? So now we have the chicken going. It's seasoned, it's sizzling really good. That looks absolutely perfect. The pancetta's going too. So what we need to do now is, because I forgot, because I'm a banana head, we need to get the spoon out. Why? Because the pancetta needs to get stirred. Try to get it all flat on the pan. You don't want it to be, you know, piled up. But you do want it to end up really, really crispy. So you're gonna render that down quite a bit. Let the chicken go, and now I have my other pan going right now, which is empty. We're going to start making the sauce, okay? Again, I have a cup of white wine, and we're going to throw that right in the pan. Watch that go. We're going to cook all the alcohol out of it. I'm going to keep this glass with me. You know why? Because I'm going to get thirsty in a minute and have some of this wine. Some of the pears. This will be great. You can definitely use some of the pears. Put those right in there. That way it starts off and gets the pans nice and the uh, pears nice and soft. Okay, put that back. We have to turn our attention to the chicken now because I believe that's going to be nice and brown on the other side. And boy was I right. Nice and golden brown. Absolutely perfect. The chicken's probably going to take about six to seven minutes. The pancetta is probably going to take about two minutes to cook it on a really high heat. This sauce is probably going to take three to four minutes. The key to the, the pear sauce is to make sure that, like I said, all the alcohol is burned off and that the pears start to get a little soft. So now at this point, I'm going to add the pear juice right in the pan. Now, I probably used about a 
cup of pear juice. You don't want to overdo it. You've got a nice wine in there. You've got the pear juice and you've got the pears. And the pears are going to soak up a lot of that wine flavor. So let's make sure that you take care of that and don't go crazy with a ton of pear juice. At this point, I'm going to add a little bit of sugar to that as well. So I'm going to come over here. I'd say about two tablespoons worth of sugar. Also, be surprised, I'm going to add some salt. About a teaspoon of salt. Remember, salt is really a, a flavor enhancer. We're not looking to make it salty. We're looking to enhance the flavors that are already there. So keep that in mind when you're salting stuff. Now, we're going to let that render down a little bit. That pancetta looks just about done. We're going to shut the heat off on that, which I'm a liar. We'll shut it off there. See how it's nice and smoky over there? Looks good to me. Nice and brown. Move it around. That looks delicious. Absolutely perfect. Your chicken's still going. Pretty soon we're going to be done. We've got about four more minutes for this entire dish. And we're going to be right back with you. See you in a minute. Hey everybody, welcome back. Now it's going to be time to turn the chicken. So we'll get that turned over. It's going to look really good on the back side. Brown just like the front. Perfectly cooked. Perfectly cooked. Excellent. I love that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab your hand towel because that is going to be a hot pan back here, boy. I tell you what. We're going to put the pancetta right inside our pear sauce. Just get it all in there nice. Then we're going to stir it around. That's going to be perfect. Now, here's the key. Here's the key to the world. Here's something that people don't really teach in cooking anything. This is called a slurry. This is what's going to tighten up our sauce. If we were to render that down and keep rendering it and rendering it, we'd be here all night to a complete reduction. We don't want to do that. It's a sauce. It's going to be absolutely delicious. This slurry is actually just flour and water. Cold water, actually. You put that right inside here. You stir it around nice like you see me doing here with a fork. You'll be good to go. Okay? So we're going to pour the about half the contents of this cup. So that was about a third of a cup of slurry. Come back with our spoon and we start stirring. Boy, that looks good. That is starting to come together nicely. Okay. Get that turned all around. Right at this point, I'm going to crack some pepper on there. And then I'm going to squeeze my lemons right in there. Get that lemon juice in there. Why lemon? Because you can't get hurt with citrus, that's why. Citrus won't hurt you. Citrus is your friend. You'll, you'll really enjoy the flavor that'll come out of it with the citrus. Let's get the spoon again. Come back over. Give it a stir. Let this reduce down a little bit more. Whoops, splatted myself there. Now, just at the end of this, what we're going to do is we're going to put some butter in this pan. Why butter, you ask? Well, butter helps to A, tighten it up, and B, on top of that, it's going to give it a nice, real, clean look with a nice sheen, and I like that a lot. So, when we come back, this is all getting plated. We'll see you in a minute. Hey everybody, welcome back. Now we're going to start the plating. Before we do that though, i got to do one more thing with you. It's the butter. Now this is like a quarter of a stick of butter. I'm going to use half of that. Okay? Just half, and we're going to go right here in this pan. Again, it's going to make it nice. It's going to tighten it up a little bit, along with the slurry. And it's also going to give it a nice clean sheen look. I like that. It's going to be glossy. Let that get in there nicely. And that's going to be pretty. Okay, so now our chicken is done. 
So let's take this off here and we're going to rest it right here on our cutting board. As well as red meat, I like to let my chicken rest as well. You know, chickens get tired too, you know. <laughs> I know it's a funny joke. Anyway, but you want them to rest and get those nice juices all sealed in there. It's going to be delicious. I'm going to be plating this up in a second. The potatoes, you're going to see another video for the Red Bliss garlic mashed potatoes. So stay tuned for that later. But uh, pretty soon we'll be plating that up. So we'll be right back. All right, everybody, now it's time to plate this nice dish. I'm going to start with the mashed potatoes. We're going to go right to the center. Right there, one time. Beautiful. Yeah, well, a little bit more. I know you're all hungry. So let's put those right in there. Now, as far as the chicken goes, when plating this, I wouldn't mind doing three pieces. One, two, three. Right there to the center. Can you see how delicious that looks? That chicken looks amazing. Okay? So I'm going to take this here, and we're going to put this right across the top of the potatoes. Okay? One, two, three. Done. Okay? Then we're going to come back over here, and we're going to grab our nice pears. Put one on that side, one on that side. Boy, this is going to be delicious. I can taste it already. Okay, and then we're going to come across with our sauce. Use this spoon right here. Come straight across that chicken breast. Whew. Baby, does that look good. Oh, lordy, lordy, lord. Come on. Call a doctor. I'm going to go to the hospital, man. I might faint for how delicious that looks. That's unbelievable. Let's clean up that rim right there. Make it presentable. All right. So there you have it. Your chicken with a pear and white wine sauce and delicious, unbelievable Red Bliss garlic mashed potatoes. For this recipe and more, go to theindependentdiner.com. And don't forget to like this video on, on YouTube because uh, I like you. Why can't you like me? I'll see you next time right here at the Independent Diner. Later.